This video shines the spotlight on Raymond Irwin, a groom whose tenure spans over four decades and whose accolades include securing the richest race in Jamaica, the Mu Te Mile. Yet, the path to glory is often strewn with adversity, and this narrative is no exception. Beyond the race course, challenges arose, particularly concerning struggles with his son. This aspect of the story resonates with a wider audience, reflecting the universal theme of personal tribulations amid professional accomplishments. The story that unfolds serves as a lesson in endurance, affirming that the essence of a true champion endures, undeterred by life's obstacles. In reflection, the time has come to acknowledge the commitment and labor of individuals like Raymond Irwin, whose contributions weave into the rich history of horse racing in Jamaica. Quick Gallop, jhay.com, and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper, give appreciation to the work done by Raymond Irwin. Speaking with groom, senior, a veteran groom, Raymond Irwin. Mr. Irwin, good morning, sir. Morning. How are you? Not bad. You are the groom of this horse, Rough Entry. Yeah. The horse that won the Mute Mile the other day, the richest race ever to be run in Jamaica. Yeah. But Raymond Irwin has been here long before Rough Entry. So we're not even going to get into Rough Entry right now. We want to know how did Raymond get involved in horse racing in the first place? Well, I grew up in, inside the track here. My mother used to sell and take care of a lot of jacket, like John Morgan, Sylvester Baca, C. Royal, G. Royal, all of those old time jackets. We were at my home to look out for them. So, so I get into the racing and go against John Morgan, them against a trainer named Wally Snicker. Yeah, my first ass I go on is a horse named Low Road, a grey coal, Low Road. And from this I just take on to the racing, go to school, take on to the racing. As a little boy growing up till I go against Ralph Zede, the man named Bonan. Mr. Irwin, a long time we are talking about in a brother? Yeah, I tell you Bonan, the man that beat me from me and learned to cross train. He learned me to ride. What age are you talking about and what when year? We are about eight years old. And what year are we talking about? No fears, man. <laughs> I know I, I'm 60 weekend coming. You're 60 weekend coming? Yeah, 27th mm -hmm. of this month. So you came here with the intention to be a jockey? Yeah, well, all of that in the business, but I never get you. From Mr. Zedi left, I just come on to Baba Ranger, Marty and them, Mr. Pearson. Till I just start freelance now, go against Willoughby Simpson. And from Willoughby Simpson, we just start Shuban as a number one group. Who was your apprentice master to becoming a group? Well, you have a, a brother named Kangaroo, and he said Boonan for that. Yeah, those two men and Lucky. Now they finished Lucky, take me on and push me on. And which trainer you got your license with? First license I get is with Willoughby Simpson. You First, remember the year? About 1985. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who were some of the horses you looked after then? I had to look after a horse named Wolrock, Sun Royal. Inspiration. A lot more. Enough more. Do you remember your first win as a groom? My first win as a groom is inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. Mm. Run third this, uh, this Wednesday and win with him Saturday. What was that feeling like? I feel like you know, as a little boy just win my first race and you know, I lead my first win around here. You know. mm -hmm. And no one said, well, I just said start from. And from that moment until now, you have any idea how many winners you would have had? Well, I got over about nearly a hundred winners from them time. Eh? Mm -hmm. I work back with all Mr. Cunningham. Yeah, my family them buy me two hours. I'm going to Mr. Cunningham's name Blanche and Prince Licker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, program them and I win a couple of races with them till. My boy coming, get big now and coming out of the business. And and for Gary Road, got us to think. I'm saying one be a jockey and for us to the morning for take care of him, ride school and them things. And who is that we're talking about? Javan Irwin. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, and from there, so I just kick off, cool out, to go and 15, 20 years and come back. Come back, come back. Help out a chain and him, Eber. Yeah, cause I seem to have no body around him, man. I have some ass and go around him with a ass named Pepsi. And I run Pepsi one time, man, and the sister is not right, and I tell them. And I run him back and I run second and I cool him out. And we just work for him, man. From there, so Pepsi come back and we just straighten him up and give him, get three years out time, couple seconds, couple third. And I look like I went to my arms and I work and I just. Well, then, you know, first, first, you know, I just walk so we and do back my little selling. And right away, see him lucky, my apprentice master and Richard Roberts. You know, come check me and I tell him, say, yeah, man, we're not ready, man. Because a lot of men want to give me work, but I just tell him, say, they're mm going -hmm. to cool out. And I tell them, say, I have something that's coming for him. They're going to cool out. And from the rough end, she come and I just take him and deal with him. What was your first impression when you saw a rough entry? No, well, Mr. Rough Entry, I'm not a killer that in a bar. Why? What, what, what you see? Well, the I mean, type of you... ass. Because mm -hmm. I look at a two ass fever, look like him with a foreign ass. Yeah, that is Sun Royal and Gold Rock. Right now, I have a Gold Rock picture down in my shop right now from 19. 19 or oh, 91. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 30 years you now. Don't have my shop right you now. So back to back to rough rough entry. What you say you see pan him when you see him? It's a real size pan him man. And not not troubling. And anytime you see us quiet, no key where I go on, you just stay standing and observe. You know that is a real size. Mm. That is a real size. When you go to the truck in the morning, what what what, what not him just look walk and look by everybody and kill them and go on with him just. No, I work him out there. When him go up on the track, him just go do him work. Come back, nothing not trouble him. No nice, no nothing at all. No cure ass I go on him just stay so do him work. Yeah man, rough entry is a brilliant task. I'm a love him. You had any doubt at all at the mountain mile the other day? Nah man, mountain mile cookie man. I'm a family them. My daughter and my grandson them I'm from country. I'm a tell them, say, me I win it. Again, tell you a joke when I have Pepsi. I tell a man, say, again, win mountain mile with it. And some man say, me is a madman. Yeah, one day, one of the man I tell, when he see Pepsi run one Saturday, he come to me and say, boy, you really are going to win the race for you. I say, I'm not tell you, I'm not win the race to the ass. Because we know what we are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're the ass, man. Yeah, that is a man in Kiati, a whole jacket. Old veteran, I tell that. Yeah, man, when the ass run, he sat the man and come and said, boy, you really are going to win the race because the ass run so good against them ass. And he just come a class. So I tell you. And so I look at with the one and the train and some next people, part one, and I just love them. Because one side, one take side, and I not take no side. Work, I work. Mm -hmm. You know, figure out your business. Work, I work. I not have nothing to say to nobody. In that event, how has it been since? December 2. Oh, rough, rough entry. Sorry. Him nice said, real, said peak of farm in the pan. Never drop off a farm. Because here with the race now, it's when you dedicate yourself to the race and do your work, your ass always the farm peak. Because rough entry could have run back the other week and win again. Mm. Yeah, because you know, drop on pass. Yeah. So, so I cry and come. Every time he comes, he says, boy, I this ass out like you have him ready at all times. He says, boy, it's a work. You can't call him shot at any time. I'm not waiting until you call the shot. I'm going to all the way up on my pee. Is, is rough entry the only horse you're looking after now? No. Right now, I have a horse named Burnout. It's on a three-year-old sports race this weekend. But I don't get her name it, but supposed to race this weekend. This year is a foreigner or a local? Yeah, foreigner. Foreigner. Okay. Yeah. And how has she been? Why well, she working brilliant. Tell her, right now everybody wanna know when she race. <laughs> everybody wanna know when she race. Mm. Tell me some of the better outside of rough entries, some of the better horses you would have looked after well, in your time. Wolrock, Sun Royal, 
Kasiasnim Allah tell him Allah tell him, well them don't finish out racing mm. But rough entry My ass and my biggest achievement mm -hmm. Over 40 years Biggest achievement Right now I don't see no woman More than him You, know. you don't see any? Woman, woman. yes okay. mm -hmm. A woman can come around me between that ass, can give me the biggest achievement. I never I expect them to get that in a race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I look for it this year again with them. What about family? Well, me and my family, them all right, you know. Yeah, me and my son and my daughter, them and my grandpa, them, all away. Yeah, because them work fine. You, know. you yeah. had them down for the motor mile because you were so confident. How yeah. proud? What, are they of what the nice and my grandson but then go to America and come back and him see the picture him see that picture nice grandfather nice than Pepsi picture and him take it from him phone we never knew him could angle him phone so take out him phone and him take the picture and show me and him is just six year old mm -hmm. yeah the next one I sent me him take it to and him gone and sent me with that same outside moment. of your Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so they will make them in the next uncle and a country, build it up and put it in a room. Outside of your son, that road, is he... I yeah, better uh, again tell you something. Incident. Why do you feel so nice when you win the race? Yeah, who all a GP? I'm so nice when I win the race, man. That man tell him, said, you don't know that the man, the man is cool, he's cool out and come back. Yeah, come here, I win race when my little boy. I, all right. The first year since I went with Blanche. I tell you, why I'm worried the security them for go out there. Fly up in a security face and bury that, train and bury that. I have to take him and say, a few months. And him and this ass, I live night and day. I just show up to him and say, Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. That's why I know he must be a good jacket. But it's just so unfortunate, you know. I know that he, he, he was one of the top Yeah man, riders, right now, right now if he never did a L, I did not talk. I mean, not too like talk, yeah. but yeah. you know what my reason you know. He made a win about three champions already. And right away, Andrew Thomas win a champion. Man being them win champion. And I'm, he might teach after the whole of them. The whole of them take advice from him. I know him there prison. A jacket named Roger Yale. Anytime you interview me, I tell you, that man always show Raja how to ride that. And I ask you name Ramon Spence. Yeah, team look at you them there. Yeah man, man being the whole of them. Yeah, and them support him. Yeah, nothing like all what the man being when some race and him come look for me and give us something separate. Yeah. Anybody else from the family? I have, I have interest in, in, in racing. My daughter down at the shop, she, right now she's a secretary of a groom association. Okay. Mm. And I make sure she have a groom license. I put her up on the Royal Wild already, you know. Interview and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm take her, I take her a look at her first and then. Yeah. So um, she's looking after us no, here at track yet? No, she have her in a little shop down here, sir. Yeah. yeah. But she does love the arts thing. Yeah, and right now our boyfriend is a trainer, so okay. she loves the ass thing. Okay. Mr. So Irwin, it's a long, long stretch for you in terms of being in the, in the, the racing business. Yeah. I mean, you have had great success of late, but overall, have you enjoyed the journey? Yeah, man, I enjoy the journey. I love racing management. I, tell you, I never got a rule to do one certain time I got a road and it's when my brother-in-law that is e at Billing Plaza, one in front of the station there. He called me from America and said, Ray man, I have some things that are going down there. I like your own. I said, Jackie, I'm not too like that. I will go mix up with people, you know. When I watch nothing, I go around the thing. And so me that I will go do look at construction. But otherwise, me love my racing. Me now look at fast, me do look at cooking, look at Juice selling and yeah, I don't like that road to mix up. Yeah, so, I've said all of my life, 
and I came and I sparked. So I can't tell them all of my life. Yeah, came man. and I sparked. Everything we in my life, came and I sparked. Well, clearly you're a reservoir, you're a number one reservoir of knowledge. Yeah, man. 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 Marty on the dead, Lorenzo Ranger, Mr. Pearson, Mikey Cunningham, yeah, them trainer is my trainer. And especially, see a trainer named Fiani. Now I go work with him, because working to make friendship break up. But he's a man I respect to the ground. Because you know why? I never hear him this at a groom yet. I never hear that man. This a good Yeah. I'm a cry when I work with you now. What do you mean I tell someone? I said, I'm a cry when I don't make a race. I don't know the team. I'm just go back to myself. Because the man know what is a good life and what good supposed to achieve. And they show respect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah the man, the good people are right. I'm a see where the man love good. And the rest of them work good. The man, they deal with them good. Yeah. You have been here, as I know, for a while. Who are some of the best horses that you have seen race here at Cayman Aspar? All right, I see. Horse named Common Law, Scotch Bunny. It's a Fianna of a good sprinter there. Eras. Eras, Viceroy. Those are some good, good, good horses, I see. And some horses up by when Mr. Lee up there, so as well as Mars Charles and all those asses. Yeah, some good ass them time there. The man named Mr. Chung will go with that, with the ass named Kingpin. Kingpin and all the queen them. China Paul Newman, yeah, them go amongst them. I tell you, I think to the first table I eat a little food, you know. It's Nigel Eunice, you know. Pan a dashing leaf. A groom named Goosey. Yeah. Goosey take me out of my mother's yard. Because two my mother tell them come and mother boy I come and chat with me and you know, cook some food. I'm gonna go with him. First time I eat look a hot season rice. So I for a dashing leaf. Yeah. Him says him say real man. And the yard there, you know, but all a dashing leaf. I mean did do that. From there some know some have to grow rough and Rough life come like nothing, because I just go treat these. And when I go treat people, say I have money on them. But I don't make nothing trouble me. Yeah. Raymond, this is a very important question, I believe, for somebody like you. Yeah. Who has spent decades here. In your estimation, the horses back then, the 70s, 80s, 90s, yeah. as opposed to now, the modern day horses were bleed a holy. Which one you think are the tougher horses? You know, I said the old time horses them tougher than now. These horses soft. I mean, say I think they look around these horses, this bleeding thing. One time you never have that. The old horse, long time horses them is more big and taller. You can't see the food in those horses. These are soft. Mm. Some horses, I mean, look up on them, so I wonder if a man them. Mm. Yeah, in time they all. Yeah, I just sang them all right, Emilio. That is the next man I have to tell about. I'm a brother that. Emilio Roderick. Tell about him, man. My mother grew him and my yard him grew. He called me little brother. When my son had got a riding school, he come down come around the riding school. And when I see him and tell him, I'm going to the man and say, Who inside any Irwin? And my boy stand up. And he said, You know me, he's out there. Boy, he said, the boy, I said, no, I said, watch her, I said, your granny, I'm a mother, she take care of me, I said, your father, I'm a brother, I can't tell you all of your, your auntie and your uncle them name. Yeah, man, and my son come home here and said, I never know how your mother grew up, bimbo, he tell me everything about your life. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, man, bimbo Radricates, man, and he ride all them, man, and them man they grow me. And from my I grew a one man ever lit me and he's here and I don't feel no way he beat me for a good. And put good in me and I know for Charlie Road. 
it don't make no sense to ask you who you think are the best jockey ever ride down here. <laughs> best jockey? Yeah. Two best jockey ride down here, man. George Stan and Emilio ride with it. Emilio. <laughs> Emilio had to be yeah, in the Yeah, Winston is a good jockey, but the best jockey them. Good jockey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, them jockey they good jockey. Something I would like you to tell me. In the olden days of grooming horses, as to what is happening now. All the days grooming better than now. Pure lick and run there. When, right. you say, when you say lick and run, what do you mean? You know what is lick and run? Now do your work right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You clean your beard the ass and let him go wet and you let him go with dirt. Foot not clean up good. Cause you not got your bed with dirt by your foot. Mm -hmm. You wash out that the toenail them between the two are clean out. So you have to deal that just like how you deal yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have been here a while too and in the olden days, you know, I used to be by Valbert Marlow stable yeah. and how I see the groom horses then. Because when a horse come in you would cool him out and they don't be them. They don't be them. They, they really usual, groom them. Yeah, you usual one when you be the horse one time, one book the water you can use be them. And you call that sponge him out? Yeah. Or half moon him. Yeah, I work with, I grew up on some trainer where dangerous trainer them. Kenneth Dwyer, Joshua Morris and them. Those man are Mr. Gonzai, those man are real ass man. When you come out of them man, the school and knowledge. They really learn mm. racing. They really learn racing. Do you take the time to try and teach some of these younger no, guys well, about the, the trail? Yeah, no for them. I have a short turn to me, enough of them you can't show them nothing. Because them claim them know more than you. Okay. Mm. So you just love them and after all them have to come back. Yeah, they have to come back and say where I'm still show them. So I sit from four o'clock now because I know I don't eat nothing, I drink a cup of tea. No. And we know it's ten thirty. Alright. Mm -hmm. The work after go on the work after done. Them can't come out of them style and you have to do that when you don't when you know say you done that now 12 1 o'clock that's the way you're being do what you have to do I mean, so the work but you have to do delicate yourself mm. and you get to your want. Uh, you know a lot of persons out there and and you have the experience don't really know the general public what it entail yeah. to really groom a horse look about a horse properly when you get here in the mornings what's the first thing you have to do and the first, first thing me do, what my heart style and inspect him. Inspect him, inspect him, feed pan him, water bucket if he eat out, yes or no. Catch him up, look pan him, if nothing do him, if nothing do him. I'm not him to bring him out till the trainer come. Yeah. The trainer I work with, if he say, can him out, I can him out. If he say, no, can him out, I can him out. Yeah, the first thing that you do. Inspect your ass. Get up your gear, sweep up your stall low for your start work. I first thing that. Sweep up your stall low, clean up yourself, set up your bandage, set up your gears. Them. That's when the trainer come now. Saggle and gone. If not, not even saggle until the trainer come, the trainer come just set out. And then after that? After the work? After, after, that after him work, work at track and come back, cool him out, beard him, eat him up, make him cool out more and I him start. Let him have eat, look up in him. We do nothing to him foot. Wait till we eat and relax. We just go catch him up again. Fix him up and let him go again. And sometimes, probably when he go to the stall, you would pick the stall. Star, yes, that is a more. Uh, if I come very early, pick him stall. And that half a minute. Mm -hmm. So I don't have that problem. I love the race, man. I tell him, man. I think now. Uh, Go do no more work, one race. How much longer you see yourself doing this? Well, as long as Mr. Crichton there, you know, yeah, as long as Mr. Crichton, the commentator said, trainer like this, I want to stop work with him till he said, I'm done with the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to stop work with him. I don't want to know what is the deal, what groom need and what. Because groom work very hard. You know. I am telling him, he said, me not doing the work now, who don't do the work? I don't advise. Yeah, I got the other man interview him, tell him, say, 
I mean, do the work. The guys, them are the, are the band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we do the work. We get up on my, we got to see. We do everything. The children do nothing. The children come and advise and go and go in business. We live here with them. We live here with them. And he, and he show you guys a lot of respect. What? Man, I, man, I love America, them, man. Nothing, I love America, them. Yeah, man, I appreciate America, them. And I say, I just love you for your work. The man just love him groom them all right. When you, when you work with them, you have to all right. Yeah, and the man is not skeptish. All right, why do you come here? I'm just going to have a drink and eat two fish. Yeah, and the whole house just go on and do things and come back. We and him drink together, talk together, everything. Yeah, he's a nice fellow, all him father. My brother, nice fella, them man. And I know him from my little boy. You know. yeah, two brothers, of them, amongst them father. Mm -hmm. them amongst them man named Bibi. Yeah. Two small guys. Yeah. Magnifique Bibi. Baridas, brother. Yeah. Magnifique Bibi. Yeah, I yeah, know them as two little youth. And when I tell him that, he look for me and go, I say, yes, Trina. Yes, still, you know him from me and pick me then, I say, yeah, man. All right, we're going to close by asking you to just send a message to the fans of Rough uh, Entry. What uh, to expect in 2024 once yeah, you're in sound? Well, you people outside the Rough Entry can do it again. And don't, don't feel like it's a joke thing. Don't feel like it's a joke thing no matter who comes. Rough Entry again. Because they're going to have one night. The six for a long. Yeah, man, rough entry match up the whole of them, man. Who no gonna stud, who no rough entry that, man. And rough, man. I'm rough. Rough, man. Real man. rough. Ramp rough, man. <laughs> That's all, guys. All right, Mr. Irwin, respect with and all the rest of you, sir. With all, man, sir. Yeah, man, big up yourself. The day is so up. Respect. Yeah. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallopjaya.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for other enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe and press the notification bell.